Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Long time no see. I hope you all have been well. <clears throat> we are going to get into this reading, Pisces, to see what you guys need to know. Thank you so much for all of you um, who sent well wishes. I just had a little little thing going on with my sinuses and I just felt that it would be necessary to take a little break but we are back again be sure to like the video you guys be sure to subscribe if you're new let's just see what you need to know okay oh and also thank you to everyone who has donated or contributed to the channel also, for those of you who checked out the Nutcase Network, I really appreciate it, you guys, okay? Ooh, okay, for Pisces, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides and Ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for Pisces, please let the messages be clear, honest, accurate, and concise. And allow them to reach the individuals in which they need to reach. Only messages of high vibrational energy for Pisces. All right, so what does Pisces need to know at this time? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Oh my goodness, this is what you need to know at this time. The vampire, reevaluate your relationships, avoid those who only take from you and leave you feeling emotionally drained. So th we get this card very often, Pisces, because I feel like very often you have people who try to pretty much siphon your energy. Okay, the mirror, everything is a mirror. What is in your inner reality will, will reflect your outer reality so there could be a situation pisces where you possibly feel drained at this time you guys may be feeling depleted you may be feeling like your energy is drained you may feel like someone is draining you someone may also feel like you drain them as well i just have to say this just be very mindful of how you kind of come across because a lot of you may not really care, but at the end of the day, there may be someone close to you who feels drained by you or you feel drained by them. Or if you're in a situation where you're just tired and exhausted, it could be because of somebody around you. Um, it says the unwavering, your determination to succeed and your no nonsense approach will be very difficult to crack and beat. So if there is someone around you, Pisces, who is draining your energy or making you feel depleted, it's going to be very difficult for them to deplete you, especially if they're doing it on purpose. If this is somebody who's draining your energy on pur purpose or they're purposefully trying to exhaust you in some way, this could be anything. It could be somebody trying to get you to do their work, somebody trying to put their burdens or their baggage on you. Okay, I just want to check the camera because I kind of had to do a little finagling, you guys. It's going to be, it, it might, it might be a little crooked, but it's okay. I don't know. It kind of irks me. The Virgo in me comes out when it comes to this cloth and I always have to fix it. So excuse me. All right, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what I feel. It kind of feels like you may feel drained and it may be attracting people around you who are very draining on your energy or it could be a situation where you could be draining someone else's energy and maybe not be aware of it and this could just be because you're depleted and you're tired and you need to take a break or take a rest okay all right all right leave it alone that might be a message. Leave it alone. Because I kept messing with it and I just feel like, nope. It is what it is. Leave it alone. What else is this about for Pisces? Spirit? 
Okay, so we have Gratitude, which came out first. Show more gratitude. And then we have New View, which says seeing things from a higher perspective. Interesting. All right. Let me see, Pisces. We have Performer at the bottom. A lot of these cards have a black background or black and white entertainment industry. And then Thanksgiving, something significant about this holiday. I don't know, Pisces. It seems like there's possibly um there could be possibly someone in your life who's been very draining to you someone who's depleted a lot of your energy who's acted kind of like a succubus or vampire energy and they may they may be having a new perspective on how they've been treating you they may be having a new perspective when it comes to how they may have exhausted you of your energy and um, by November or around Thanksgiving, they could be showing you more gratitude for what you've done for them in their life. Okay, your energy is unwavering. Whatever the situation is, you're extremely determined to get what you want, to succeed, to achieve your goals. Um... But I just feel like you guys could be a little tired. And either it's because of somebody who's outside of you draining you. And therefore that reflect is reflecting back on your inner reality. Or this could be your inner reality feeling drained, feeling tired, needing a break. And you may be draining others around you. Okay. You may be able to find a new way to show gratitude to someone, especially if you have like a friend or a family member or someone who may need you. I feel like this is somebody who kind of needs you or they could be very needy towards you. And even though you may be very grateful for this person, you're kind of starting to see the connection from a different perspective. Okay. You could be in the entertainment industry, but there could just be a lot that you have to do. Like with the performer card, someone who's a performer, there's a lot that takes place behind the scenes. Or there's a lot of responsibility that that person has in order to make the show go on. Like the show must go on. That's what I'm getting with this unwavering card and the performer card. Like the show must go on. No matter how tired you are, no matter what you may be experiencing or going through, what responsibilities you have, Pisces, the show must go on. Okay. If you guys have been wanting a break, I feel like that break could be coming sometime in November around Thanksgiving. And although you may really appreciate someone, you may appreciate and be very grateful for them being in your life, you may be noticing that they're a little bit draining on your energy. Yeah, that's what I feel. You may be starting to see the connection from a different perspective. Okay, what is Pisces energy? Pisces, what is your energy? Strength. Okay. Strength, death, and rebirth, and the seven of pentacles. So Leo energy, Scorpio energy, possibly Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So you're making a decision. This is a decision for your family. This could be a decision that you're making in, in terms of like your living arrangements. Okay. Where you're going to move to. Some of you guys are moving or relocating. You may want to buy a house. Um, some of you are searching for places to move to, places to live. Okay. Seven, 13, and eight. There is an investment that you're making when it comes to a change. If I feel like this is either a change of your living arrangements or this is like an investment or you you could be saving money to buy a house. You could be putting a down payment on a house with the seven of pentacles. Some of you guys could be just trying to hold back when it comes to your spending right now. 
Scorpio energy and Leo energy. But I feel like you're having a lot of restraint with the strength card. I feel like you're holding back or you're saving money possibly as well. Because you want to you, you want your finances to grow. Like this is the major focus that I feel from this energy. You want your finances to grow. You want to be more sustainable with your money. Like you you want to be able to see progress when it comes to your financial situation growing. Okay. And I feel like with the two of wands and the ten of cups, you're making the best decision for your family. Or you're making the best decision for you. Because the ten of cups is your energy, okay? What is this vampire gratitude and new view for Pisces? Okay, the ten of cups again and the seven of wands. So, it feels like to me... Whoever this person is who may be draining towards you, they may not appreciate you very much, but they're starting to gain a new perspective on how much work you do, how much you put in, how much you have to go through on a regular everyday basis. It's like they're starting to realize that it's not as easy as they thought it was for you to do whatever it is that you do. It kind of feels like someone is always asking you for things with the seven of wands, like, it feels like they're starting to see that maybe they were doing too much or they were asking you too much or they were requiring too much of you, okay? Two sevens. So July could be significant. Somebody could be born in July or this is a person that you met in July or some something happened in the month of July, okay? I just heard it's not funny or somebody's not laughing with the seven of wands and the ten of cups. I don't know if something's not funny or someone doesn't have a sense of humor or what that's about. Um, but we have the justice at the bottom. Yeah, and the eight of swords. So it seems to me, Pisces, that someone is realizing that they may have been very uh, draining towards you or someone is realizing that they could have been the problem. Like whoever this is, is like, maybe I was the problem. Yeah, that's what I feel. Like when I heard the show must go on, Pisces, it feels like to me, you're kind of like, whether this person helps me or not, whether this person realizes what they're doing or not, whether they act right or not, I'm still going to do what needs to be done. The show must go on. I will still succeed. I am still succeeding no matter whether they're helping me or not. So I feel like someone's about to have a new perspective about why. Because this, it feels like to me that you made a decision for your family that was best for you, that was best for your kids, that was best for your the people living in your household or that was just best for you as an individual and whoever this person is i feel like with the justice card they're a little bit they may be feeling a little bit anxious or worried about the fact that you're blocking off your energy or you're not contributing as much as you used to contribute in the situation and they're starting to realize that they have to show more gratitude towards you for what it is that you do I feel like you told somebody no with the seven of wands. Like the answer is a no. Like it's a concrete, solid no. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, and I feel like somebody was shocked. Somebody was shocked that you finally said no. Or that you finally put your foot down in a situation. That's what it feels like. It's like your family's going to come first or your kids are going to come first. Okay, Justice card could be a Libra, Eight of Swords, Gemini, Seven of Wands. Could possibly be a Leo. You, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo with the Strength card. And then maybe a Taurus, possibly Virgo or Capricorn. Maybe also Aries or Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's seeing you differently because I feel like you finally put your foot down. Wow, what else does Pisces need to know? 
Like you stopped allowing, you, you just refuse to allow this person to keep using you. That's what it feels like. Turbulence, yep. Yeah. False identity, interesting. And gift. So you may be getting an anonymous gift from someone, but I keep feeling this energy like it keeps coming up. Yeah. This could be a friend or a family member, but it keeps coming up that whoever this person is could be surprised that you're finally putting your foot down about a situation. Yeah, penny pinching. This I feel like you're saving money though with the seven of wands. The, I mean, not seven of wands, seven of pentacles, strength card and the death card. You're saving money or investing in something so that you can create some type of change in your life. And for a lot of you, it's about moving. It's about buying a home. It could be about traveling. Uh, this could be just leisurely travel, places that you want to go see, a home that you want to put a down payment on, an, a new apartment, a new condo, new living situations. But it doesn't matter what it is. It's like you making decisions that make you happy. You making decisions that pr are profitable for you, that give back to you when you make the physical or energetic investment. And not investing in other people who are just draining you of your energy. So this kind of feels like a, um, this feels like one of the cliche readings where it's like you pull back your energy from someone who's draining your energy and then they realize what they had once you were gone. That's kind of what it feels like to me. But I feel like this was seriously a situation where you put your foot down. And you basically were like, look, whether you're going to help me or not, whether you're going to do right by me or not, the show must go on and it shall and it will as it should, period. Okay, what's the advice for Pisces? They're realizing now what they lost out on because they don't have your energy anymore. Yep. And that's what this card is talking about, the magic within you. You have so much power, Pisces. People don't realize, see, but that's the thing. You come into people's life and what you have to understand is that when you come into people's life, they feel the full force of your energy, but they're unable to identify it sometimes. Sometimes, especially if people are very, you know, low vibrational or they're underdeveloped and they're not really in touch with their spiritual side or with any type of, you know, connection to spirituality, they will think that that energy is just them getting a boost, that it's just them. But really, they don't understand that it's actually you. It's you making an appearance in their environment, which changes the vibration and changes the trajectory of their life. But they take advantage of it, which is you. They take advantage of you. They may not appreciate what you bring. And then once you finally get fed up and tired and you separate your energy, this person has no more of a source to siphon from. And they're like, well, what happened? Then that's when it clicks that it was the magic within you, Pisces. And that's what I feel like is happening here. So there could be some disruption that you've been experiencing. Somebody could be taking a flight too, because there's a plane on both of these pictures. Uh, but this could just be about you taking a trip or something like that. But I, I just, I feel like you're finally saying no, you're finally putting your foot down and whoever this person is, who's kind of been a drain on your energy, they know why you're doing it. Now, if this is a situation where you may have been draining someone else, I think that person understands why you may have been energetically draining to them because they may know that you've been very tired and there's been a lot going on. So if someone kind of steps back from you, Pisces, or they you know, take a break from you or, or they take space from you, I wouldn't be offended. It's time for us to stop being offended for people making the best decision for themselves. And it's time for us as Pisces to stop taking it personally when people choose to make whatever the best decision is for themselves. And if somebody does want to pull back from you, it may be because you may have been dealing with some disruptions internally that were projected outwardly and that may have been draining another person. So keep that in mind. It's like, it's not a big deal. It's just take stock of your energy and keep moving forward. But I really feel like this is you finally saying no to someone. You finally putting your foot down. And somebody finally seeing how much they value you and appreciate you. And how much you were actually worth in their life once you pulled your energy away. Yeah, royalty. You are royalty and you deserve to be treated as such and darkness so there may be some confusion in the near future as to why this is going on someone may be coming to you confused about why you pulled your energy back um this could definitely be a friend because you have this talking to friends card here 
Um, but I just feel like whatever it is, it is what it is. The show must go on. So continue to keep pushing, Pisces. I hope that helped you guys. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. If you would like to donate or contribute to the channel, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. Also, if you guys would like to book a reading, join the membership, or get merch, all that's below. And I will see you guys next time. Remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.